Hey, awesome developers! Welcome back to Epiphone Lab, and I'm back also again with another tutorials. And this is going to be really uh, interesting tutorials from now on. And I will try to finish this series as early as possible. Okay. And sorry for you guys for making you waiting. And let's get started. Okay. So I have started the project and done some testing to see how it will work. So what is uh, in today's video? So in today's video, I will show you how we can upload an image uh, uh, using the editor JS and solve some of the problems that exist uh, with editor JS plugin that we are using. So the few problems that exist with view editor JS is that for some reason uh, this plugin is not taking this configuration. So I tried with this configuration and it never hit this in points and also uh, you cannot modify the field name. So it has to be image always. So uh, le let me go through these problems and solve each of them okay so let's get started cool let's see if we have any problems no we don't so now let's upload some pictures click on it and here you go so we have a problem cannot upload an image try another okay so um, okay so this is not the problem you will face you will uh, you will face a different error I have actually have this one uh, this route as exception for CSRF token but let me show you what you will see when you try to install this uh, plugin at the beginning I mean you already installed so the uh, image uh, tool is already there now if you try to upload an image you will see some errors like this so I'm trying to show you you see without upload an image because 419 error is thrown by uh, Laravel and you will uh, you will see the error is CSRF token mismatch because we are not able to add the CSRF token with our headers so I tried to add the headers there are some documentation available that you can adjust uh, you can add additional uh, request headers so uh, I, I tried to add this header but for some reason the editor is not taking any config values so that's why it was not possible to uh, add the headers or any custom data uh, so that was a big problem and this problem uh, already a lot of people are facing in the issues and the author is not uh, responding maybe I'm not sure but yeah hope they can figure out some solution for these things but so for now we have to adjust these things so how do we, we uh, solve this uh, token mismatch problem okay so in your case uh, in uh, in your Laravel project if you face this kind of problems you might exclude this uh, endpoint you see and one thing you have to take care about is that the car current page name is create blog so it's a get URL but if you try to upload an image here it will always be post with the same exact URL so your endpoint has to be same and since it's not taking your endpoint custom endpoint like you can adjust with the custom endpoint but since it's not taking the config uh, vid, um, config object here Okay, uh, it, there is the documentation that say you can <coughs> you can pass the config values, but for some reason it's not taking the values. Okay, so that's the problem. But never mind, uh, we can uh, work around with that, but that's not the best solution available. But yeah, it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this uh, CSRF check uh, verify in in our verify CSRF token middleware, so that we can use this one without having problems. So let's go ahead and open the verify csrf token page uh, yeah so we are excluding only this api endpoint uh, from the csrf token checks okay i hope uh, you got the point right now let's start um, uploading the picture in the <coughs> in the server for uh, in the server so how do we upload a picture right so you, you see it's sending the image with the binary data for as a form data so it's very much simple and our route in point is that it's, it has to be pushed with this create blog okay so now let's go to the web pay web.php and we have a prefix for app so we are not being able to use that so let's make another route here at the end and let's make it a post route post and it has to be create blog and it is always same as what you have at the top in the url okay i hope you got it so this is the only limitation right now I hope this will be solved uh, in real t in real soon. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually send okay, upload upload editor. 
image okay and at the end of the video i will actually explain you how you can uh you know i have uh, in category you can you are able to upload pictures so i will try to explain some of the way that uh how you can um, remove the pictures uh, if in case uh, the blog is not or the category is not uh, updated okay some of you guys has commented that okay how can we remove the pictures if it is not uploaded or if it is not if the resources is not created so it's a waste of resources in the server and this image will never be used so it will um, forever will stay in the server so it's not uh, good at all so yes i know that it's not good at all but uh, with some extra steps you can easily solve this problem that's not a big problem okay so let's go ahead and stick to this um, tutorial at the very end so upload editor image so let's make another uh, let's make here upload image from editor yes okay so let's make a function okay it's uh, exactly same but since I could have used this one but uh, it's um, it has the name is file so I c I'm, I will not be able to use that one but still if you want to use the same method you can do some uh, if conditions here checking which API you are coming from but I don't think it's worth this checkings let's go ahead and use the same exact code here uh, you can actually split that up but that's okay for now and we don't have to validate because it's admin stuff but yeah let's go ahead with this validation let's see what we get here and I don't think we uh, okay let's make a validation because it can be used from other places so it is called image not file okay so let's use that one okay pick one okay let's see what we get <laughs> upload some picture five zero zero errors so let's see what is the error undefined variable request so obviously we don't have any request now let's try it again again problem call to a member version extension on null mm, admin controller so image do I have the name as image okay it should be image as well so that was the problem perfect we got 200 and if we check we got this picture right so it's getting uploaded perfect now we cannot actually show it here with uh, in order to show it in the right in the editor we have to have a, a specific format so what is the format the format is this one success and the file so let's return some res, uh, json data return response json and we can return success as one and then we have five we have one here and the file will take the whole URL okay so what is our URL actually um, you can make this URL dynamic coming from your env variable from production and the local uh, local uh, local one and the production one okay so it's completely up to you to make the logic but for now for the sake you cannot hard code this one it's, you should not hard code this uh, this here instead you should use the env dot uh, env file and you should change uh, add your server URL and and your uh, local URL as well. So if you're working locally, your URL will be local. If you are working in production, your will be the server one. Okay. So that way, logically, you can get the correct URL. Okay. So that makes sense, right? Okay. So we have to go to the uploads folder, and then we go to the pygmy. Now let's do the upload back again and see if we can get the image okay it seems we are getting some arrows here uploading fail because in the response uh, uh, let's refresh the page and see 
what is in colleague here? Mm, okay. For some reason, it's not getting shown here. HTTPS updates. Okay, first of all, let's check out whether do we have an image with this part. So we do have an image because the image is already uploaded. So what is the problem here? I'm really not sure. Let's not use any config here. And config, let's remove this one as well. Okay. Nope. It's not working out well. Okay, so this is something I don't really know. Okay, do I have the correct format or not? Let's check out. Okay, I don't have the correct format. So I don't have the URL here. So it should be like, let's check it out, object then URL again. So it has to be another array. And then we have to pass the URL here, and the URL becomes like this, okay? So that was the problem, okay? <coughs> so I think now it's solved. Let's check it out, you guys. Hope you understand these things. Perfect, so it's working. And another problem with this uh, one is that you cannot remove this picture. So we, uh, I hope this uh, plugin will be uh, upload or uh, edited somewhere somewhere so if you delete this block you it should if uh, you should fire some events so that we can go ahead in the server and then we can delete this um, of uh, picture but we don't have to do that as well okay so now we have uploaded the picture now let's understand how we can make a system using which we can avoid having lots of unnecessary images for example look at this image i have uploaded this image um uh, before but this is not being used so it is totally useless it should not be staying in the server say see it's already staying in the server okay i have uploaded another one and still that all those images are being staying in the server so we that is completely wrong so how can you avoid these things okay now let me go ahead and give you some pseudocode of which you can apply in your project okay First of all, make um, make a temp table. Okay, temp table. Let's call it uh, temp image table. Okay. Next, whenever an image is uploaded, add that image file inside the temp image table right image table perfect something like this id and image right so id will be one image will be your blah 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 dot png okay like this you can save the image right like this okay so and then when you actually create or edit the resources for example like the save data so let's say this is a button using which we <coughs> actually create the blog now if you create this blog okay if I create this blog what happens then then when you actually create or edit the resources or maybe you can call it blog or you can call it category, whatever the resource you are creating. When you're actually creating the resources, then delete all the images, all that resource, resource from the temp, temp table, okay? 
but we have one more step actually so before um, okay so if you uh, create a blog you just first first you try to you try to you use from there okay oh, uh, well, one more thing that's re a little bit complicated okay first let's say this is not the st uh, third step okay I'm sorry this should not be third step third step is before creating any resource resource check if you have any temp image in the table right for that resource so what that mean you are you are you have not uploaded or created the blog yet but you found one image or two image which mean all those images are invalid or just waste so you can you can delete from you can actually get those images and delete from folder and the table okay so you delete from the folder using those image names so you retrieve all the images that exist before creating the blog and then you delete from the server as well okay and the table so now the table and the server is cleaned okay now what happens is that you just uh, upload the new one okay new one if you can do whatever the way uh, it works I mean this is really nice way to actually keep track it's just a way to keep tracking your uh, previously uploaded pictures so that you can clean up your system every time you upload some resources this is the whole concept okay the concept is clean up your system or images before you create a new resource so it's just backtracing okay you can do whatever you way you prefer this is one way so if you guys do not even understand what I'm talking about just let me know in our group or comment or comment below I will try to make this example as well in the in this uh, tutorial series okay I didn't think it was really necessary because this this is a simple project but if you wanted um, want me to develop this system as well just comment if I get a good amount of comments on the on it and also in our Facebook group I will definitely uh, develop this system as well okay thank you guys for watching this video series please like subscribe share this videos and don't forget to hit like thank you guys bye bye